devastating fires in Australia. Everything is so dry here and it's been drying out for, you know, two years. So it's very volatile and of course we have the eucalyptus which is in the air. General Qassam Soleimani, the head of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Special Forces, killed in a US strike on his convoy at Baghdad airport. The United States and key allies now seem convinced that Iran shot down a Ukrainian passenger plane, killing all 176 people on board. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Italy, the crisis has reached a breaking point. Once again, hospitals are overwhelmed, families are separated. More than 31,000 people in Iran have died of COVID-19. President Trump has tweeted saying that he and the First Lady have tested positive for COVID-19. The 2020 Summer Olympics, now the latest major sports cancellation caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic. In the language of the U.S. Department of Defense, these are unidentified aerial phenomena, videos which add fuel to the belief of some that we are not alone. Tired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. Beirut has been hit by a massive explosion. Dozens of people are set to be injured and there are some reports of people trapped under the rubble. Typhoon Goni is the latest tropical system to batter the Philippines. Now earlier on it was a violent. America has decided and entrusted its future to one man. Football legend Diego Maradona has died. The 60-year-old Argentinian passed away on Wednesday from a heart attack. British government warned that a new strain of the virus is, quote, out of control. It's also been identified in Italy. Several European countries have now restricted travel to the UK. Although there is no denying that 2020 has been a challenging year with the COVID-19 pandemic affecting billions of people worldwide, leaving millions out of work and shrinking the global economy to an all-time low, we do see some signs of hope and recovery through the COVID-19 vaccine that has the potential to save millions of lives. This will hopefully help the world return to a better situation, if not to what it used to be. As working from home becomes the new norm, along with spending quality time with your loved ones, it seems as though the lockdown has resulted in global carbon emissions, reducing about 7%, giving our planet a better chance to a green recovery, which would ideally slow down climate change. The internet has been a boon as Zoom calls made business continuity a reality and online classrooms ensure that learning doesn't stop. Let's all look forward to a hopeful and positive 2021. Happy New Year!